Good afternoon, and uh, you are looking at the Astro BD4C high powered rocket. My name is Wilfred Ashton McIsaac, and uh, this rocket, high powered rocket, will be launched in May up in Canada here. I launched it last November on the fourth and final flight of my rocket mail program. It was very successful. Um, well, it wasn't very successful. It was successful. The two side boosters here uh, did not ignite, but uh, it was more of a stability test, and it proved that the uh, the rocket itself is designed uh, properly. This is the Astro BD Aerotech rocket, which I've strapped on some boosters, changed the center of mass, um, center of gravity, um, sorry, uh, center of pressure, center of gravity, and uh, it's basically a completely new rocket. It's got two onboard flight computers. This guy right here, as you see, it's not installed right now, but it's going to be in the nose cone, so right up in here, actually. Um, and uh, it is going to actually detonate the side boosters. So uh, last year, I was doing everything manually. Uh, this time, it's going to be all automatic. So um, the rocket itself weighs uh, 3.5 pounds, and it's uh, 5 feet 7 inches uh, tall. So it's a big rocket. And uh, the second... Um, onboard computer as I call EB number two is right here and this takes care of all um, readings in terms of onboard uh, temperatures um, uh, altitude uh, barometric pressure a few other things so uh, and this uh, right now is open of course there's a um, access panel for the power access panel for the altimeter so and of course uh, the engines which I have loaded right now covered up two D12s and uh, the G77 motor. So total of this rocket's gonna kick out 38.4 pounds of thrust. So uh, it's got a lot of power to it. This rocket made news uh, nationally and internationally actually last year because it is, uh, again, it was the fourth, uh, it was a rocket used in the fourth and final flight of my rocket mail program, which uh, has gotten a lot of press over the last couple of years. Very proud to say that our rocket mail program uh, raised a couple hundred bucks for an arthritis uh, foundation up here in Canada. And believe me, this rocket mail program cost me a few thousand bucks. So um, I would have liked to donate more, but. Uh, uh, I was tapped, and I kind of know how NASA feels when it comes to um, funding rocket programs. I've done it on a small scale, and trust me, it is uh, expensive, it is time-consuming, and at times can be very frustrating. But at the end, when everything works out, it can also be very rewarding. So, um, also on this rocket, uh, instead of rocket mail this year, because I've that uh, the program has concluded right in about this area where the uh, payload bay detaches um, there's a, a blast uh, uh, cap in here that will rocket the payload bay forward the booster end will drop off both will reach the ground under two separate parachutes but i'm going to have a, a glitter experiment i call the micro glitter balls 100 grams of them so and we're going to see um uh, do a line of sight experiment to see if we can see um these glitter flakes or balls tiny little micro balls that will um, be jettisoned at uh, somewhere between 1500 and 2000 feet also give us a good indication of the wind direction up there um, so so this is the Astro B D 4C and I'm looking forward to launching it in May and uh, there'll be some good launch videos on it so I hope uh, uh, hopefully an onboard camera and maybe um, one or two cameras on the ground to follow um, uh, all the action so uh, we will talk soon I just wanted to give everybody it's been a while since I've put a video on my channel give everybody updates and uh like i say just google astro bd 4c wilford ashley mcisaac and uh, or canadian rocket mail launches and you'll see some really cool videos of uh two of the four uh rocket mail launches that i did uh, in 2011 and uh, 2012 so thanks for watching and we will show you some very cool launches uh later on in the year at least the next one will be uh, uh full covered uh covered fully sorry so uh, my name is Wilfred Ashley McIsaac, and we'll talk soon.